Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the new screen capture feature on the Chromebook. So to access the screen capture feature, you can click in the bottom right hand corner here and you can see the screen capture option. If I click on this, it then gives me some options. One, I can click on the photo, so I can just do a capture um, of, and I can choose whether I want a full screen, a specific area, or just a window. So I can do that for the camera, but then I can also do that for the video. So again, I could record my whole screen. I could record an area of the screen and say, as you can see on the little white dots, I can change the area uh, that I want to capture. Um, or I can do a window. Um, one thing, if you are doing the recording of the video, do click on settings and that gives you the option to turn on or off your mic. So my organization, we actually use Screencastify. So the question is, why would I use this rather than Screencastify? And I think the main tool that you can have for easy use is the partial screen recorder, which if you were doing that in Screencastify, you'd have to then take it into edit and crop. Whereas if you're just doing a small section of your screen, then this tool on the Chromebook is probably just a little bit better. So once you're ready to go, so I could select my area and then I can click on the screen or click on the record button here. Gives me the countdown, three, two, one. And then I'm ready to record and I can record my dialogue over my video, uh, giving instruction. And then when I'm ready, I click on the stop icon in the bottom on the shelf and then it's taken into my folder. So if I click on the folder and these have saved directly onto my Chromebook, so I can see my screen recording there, it is a WebM file. And obviously at this point, I could then drag and drop this into my Google Drive and that would then enable me to share it with somebody.